What do you do when you are turning 35? You just finished doing major renovations and decorations in your home. You are starting a new business and finally, you are ready for the next chapter in your life on easy mode. And then, on the actual day that you turn 35, your husband tells you he's going to accept a new job in a different country. And that means you might have to pack up your life and relocate to a new country. The following video is just me thinking out loud and verbalizing my thought process shortly after I found out that my life as I know it is about to go in a whole different direction than I ever saw coming. Hi guys, how you doing? I hope you guys are doing good because I'm doing... I'm doing great actually, but yeah. My husband got a job in a different country, okay? Yeah, he got a job outside of Nigeria. And you know, I don't even know how to feel about it. I don't even know how I feel about it. Because on the one hand, I'm very excited. You know, I'm happy for him. This is a step in the right direction. Because my husband is a worker. He's always, yeah, he's a, he's a job owner. <laughs> he loves to have a job and earn his salary in peace. Um, I'm happy about it. I'm happy for him. We're happy as a family. You know, it's a good move for him, okay? And it's actually a good thing for us as well, for his, you know, dependents, his wife, his kids. It's a good thing for us. However, I'm, I'm kind of feeling anxious. I'm feeling like uncertain. I'm feeling like I'm in limbo, okay? And that's because as much as this is a good move for him, it is going to require some things that I never envisioned for my life especially at this point okay and one of those things that it might require is two things okay so it's either we're going to have a separated family he's going to be living and working abroad while we are here while me i'm here with the kids or i would have to relocate to go and meet him okay so whether we're going to have two households in two different countries or we're going to relocate nothing is happening for the first one year at least okay so we're going to be in nigeria for the first one year i mean me and the kids then after that we can now reevaluate and see what happens okay but like what i was saying about how uh, it's it's not a mission for my life is if you guys have watched my videos before you will know that i don't support separated families like i don't like it I don't like it. It's not what I want for myself, not what I want for my children. I have an amazing husband and I want... I have an amazing husband who is an amazing father and I want him to be in his children's lives as much as possible, especially now that they are younger, okay? So the idea that he's going to be living in a different country, working there and then just coming to see us once in a while and we living here is unacceptable to me, okay? So even though that might be our reality for the first one year, I think I can tolerate it for one year because we have an end in mind like it's an end date in mind anything other than that nope you're gonna see me at your doorstep <laughs> like if i did if we delay one more week you will see me and my children at your doorstep okay then for the relocation part it has never been my dream to relocate if you guys watch my channel you will know that okay mind you i've done videos about oh wanting to move to canada wanting to relocate to canada it is just all banter like i keep telling people <laughs> believe it's about at your own risk it is all banter for me to come and ban for me to come and tell you guys that I want to relocate, it means that I wasn't actually considering it. Because if I was actually considering relocation, I will not tell you guys. It's when I finish relocating, I'm going to tell you guys. Go and check all your YouTubers that have left this country. None of them said it before they left. Okay, none of them said they were going to leave before they left. Many of them did not say anything until after they left. Okay, so I don't think anybody come and say here and say, ah, after all, you've been saying that you're going to travel now. So why are you now sad? No, I've been saying that I wanted to. And I always gave reasons why I wanted to, but at the end of every video, I always kept saying, I know they go anywhere, I'm gonna stay in this country. <laughs> because I like, I like my life here, okay? Let me not even lie, I have a sweet life in this country. I have a sweet life here, please. Like, yes, I'm not in my own house, you know, people have talked to me about that one. Go and build your own house, go and build your own house. You, you know, don't see I'm now. What if this was our house now? Now we'll be looking for how to sell house, okay? Or whatever, but anyway, I want to in our own house, but we're in a close to perfect house, okay? Like, I love this house so much. <laughs> I remember telling my husband, so we're going to leave this house now and go. So someone else will now rent this house. I was like, look at you, you don't go go build your own. They're here color being someone's house, you know? So I like this house so much, you know, I have enough help. I have love here. I have family here. I have friends here. You know, my kids are, we're in a good neighborhood. We've not had any kind of, you know, security issues or whatever. We're in a good state, okay? All those hold up issues that people talk about, I, 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 can't, I, I can't relate. You know, even in terms of um, cost of living, 
the cost of living here is not is not cheap but you know it's not as expensive as places like lagos or abuja well i, I don't know i think Potakota and abuja are kind of similar maybe i don't know but anyway my point is that i have a good life here in, in nigeria so i have never really planned to relocate the only thing that i've always known is that my husband might get a job abroad and you know the plan was for him to get a kind of job that will afford him the opportunity to come back to nigeria you know more frequently and that when he comes back he will stay then when he needs to go back he will go or maybe he can work remotely from nigeria okay those, those have been are two options either remote job or a job that will give him enough time to actually live in nigeria while working abroad okay i've seen it happen several times in different families so that was our dream but right now the one that he got initially when we got the job and you know saw the offer and everything we're like nah but the more we started thinking about it i remember it was even on my birthday maybe i'll look for that clip and add it it was even on my birthday that he told me that you know he's going to accept the job and you know I, I i think i feel my reaction did i i don't know i'll look for it anyway so it was just this i'm happy for you but where does that leave me okay where does that leave me thankfully i'm doing youtube which i can do from anywhere but at the same time i feel like part of the i feel like part of the um is it earlier i'll call it now part of the part of the catch for my channel is that what i'll call it is the fact that i live in nigeria okay so if i have to relocate yeah i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know how it will affect my channel let me just put it that way right um even though i know many people are watching me for me so whichever country people will still watch me for me however i don't know it just it's just it's just I, i'm just wondering where that leaves me okay i was also planning to start a business here in nigeria um is a business that i can still do it's actually a kiddies line business okay i've been thinking about it for a very long time we have a brand name already and everything but you know my kids are going to be involved in it as well so that was what that was the next plan i've, I've already started putting things in place i've already started trying to you know register the business and all of that only for this thing to come up so now that puts a pause or a let me not it's not just stop a business but it puts a pause on it because right now if i am going to ever relocate then it means that i'm going to have to set up the business and operate it from a different country which is <sighs> i'm not the most for that okay <laughs> um but you know for right now like i said me and my kids we are still in nigeria till they finish school because i don't want i don't want to you know remove them from school mid term or mid year i want them to finish school here before we go to a different country however if i when we go to a different country cora would have to step down okay because Cora is actually not in her age appropriate class. I think I've told you guys before. Cora and Sophia actually, they are both not in their age appropriate classes. But because of their date of birth and how sharp and big they were, they were able to get away with it here in Nigeria. But in other countries, like the country that you know my husband got a job in, he won't be able to get away with it. Like they are very strict with their educational system. How old is your child? Is their question. Okay, it's not about whether your child is one superstar, <laughs> whether your child is one special superstar that you know is a genius. It does not. They don't care that actually for that age you have to be in age appropriate classes okay so um cora and eva will, cora and sophia will have to step down so it's it's not really a problem per se pulling them mid them because they don't there's, there's no point like cora is in grade four there's no point because she still has to repeat grade three if we have to leave now if we don't leave now and she finishes grade four when we go there she's going to enter grade four again so is either you do it now or you do it later whichever way that stepping down is going to happen so yeah um again like i was saying i am not sad i am not unhappy for him and for our family like it, it's i don't know those two feelings can exist in one body can it i think it can all i'm saying is that it's not an easy decision for me to just accept and just you know la -di -la -di -la -da -da, and just you know confirm and just be going no it's not that it's not easy for me like i remember the first few days after he told me from my birthday was when he told me after the, my, my birthday self, the way it ended was just me, you know, I was happy, but I was like, <laughs> so, but a few days after that, I have, I felt this strong anxiety, and I'm like, I had to call my sister, tell my sister that, so this is how you people felt, is that how you people felt when people are leaving, because to me, when I hear people are leaving the country, I never thought about the fact that, you know, they will feel sad leaving their home country, leaving their family and everything, like, I knew there would be some kind of sadness of leaving your family, that one is normal, but I didn't know that it would be that 
anxiety driven. I don't know. I don't know that it's just a me, pre- me thing. So I used to feel like for them, because it's what they wanted, you know, everybody wants to relocate, they want to go to Canada because when they get it, they're happy, they're elated. So they're just, you know, happy, good to go. While me is because, I don't know, I didn't see it coming. This is the most shocking news I've ever gotten because even when he told me he applied, he told me he applied for the job, okay? When he told me he applied for the job, because of the type of jobs he had been applying for before, I thought it was just the same thing of, you know, apply for a job there, get a job there and still maintain your house in Nigeria and just be going for work and coming back. So that was what I thought initially. So when the offer came and it wasn't that, we decided that nah, there's no point taking it, you know, we don't want to leave Nigeria, blah, blah, blah. We actually decided though. In fact, I remember talking to one of my friends then and she was like, ah, there's no point. If you guys don't want to go, then no need, you know, just no need to accept the offer. So we've already concluded that you know accepting it, no wahala, don't worry, better things. My dear, when the nurse sent us offer, we saw the amount, saw everything. He was like, no, 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 like he has to take it, you know. Um, it means that I'm going to have to be in full mommy mode. I'm going to be like a real stay-at-home mom again because even though yes, I know I, I say I'm a stay-at-home mom, I have so much help here, which makes it fantastic for me, or a work from home mom, whatever. Having all the help I can get here makes it fantastic for me. But as we are going there now, I'm going to have to do almost everything myself. So I've made my husband do like the allowance you're gonna give me is gonna be worth it. It's, if not, I stay back in Nigeria and be enjoying my life. <laughs> you know, so you know, I'm negotiating my, my my allowance from him for there. Um, you know, I mean of course it's going to help out, but I don't expect him to help out the way he used to help out here because there now he's going to work in every single every day, like five five days a week, normal um office job you know so i don't expect him to be helping out the way he used to help out here that you know when he's around he's around he's not working there it's, it's only going to be in the evenings and weekends you know which i'm not mad at um that's if we decide to relocate though because everything i'm still saying is still uh, tech- whether or not though because he has to um he has to first go there and spend some time there well, me and the kids will probably go and um stay with him during christmas you know, just spend time, some time there. Then when we now come back, that is me and the kids, when we now come back, we will now figure out whether or not we are going to, you know, move. But, yeah, that's basically all I came to tell you guys. Any other thing? Yeah, that's it. So, it's funny how right now I have to, will I say, walk my talk, right? So I have to walk my talk. Because I've always said, I don't want separated families. I don't care what anybody wants to say as excuse, there's no reason why you should separate from your kids. I still believe that, okay? If you if you have kids, there's no reason why you separate from them, except a life-threatening situation. If it's just because of more money, then it's not worth it to me, okay? I want to be able to raise my kids by myself and be seeing them grow, okay? I don't want to be, be getting updates from Nigeria, hmm, back wow. Or I don't want him to be getting updates from Nigeria because, I mean, I can never leave my kids. That one is certain. <laughs> anyway, I want to carry my kids my children. I will go with them, okay? So... And him as well, we share the same sentiments, okay? So that's why he's trying to just, you know, let me understand that whether I like it or like it, the end goal is going to be that you are going to move over with the kids, you know, at least after that one year, you are, I won't have a choice anymore. Hopefully, everything works out for us. Hopefully, we're able to pull through and just thrive and, you know, excel and do well. Hopefully, it will not be bad on my kids because that's another thing I've been worried about as well. I'm like, hey, God, do my children will go to a different country. All this racist story I used to hear. I don't want anybody to bring racism near my child, though. My child, my children, my children are very, very fine where they are. They have life, they have, they have love around them. They are happy children. They have not experienced any major type of bullying or life incidents that will shape their lives negatively. So, I've protected them so far from all those things till now. So for them to now go to a country where they might face either bullying or racism and all, all of that, I. <sighs> but you know, I'm praying about it though. Hmm, just praying. Though. In fact, I, I need to fast again because I, me and my husband fasted after the whole thing. You know, just to pray to God for direction and all of that. So I need to fast again and pray again for my kids specifically this time. Even though we prayed for them before, I want to do like special one for my kids because God, I want. I. It's almost like I'm now seeing. You know, eh? you know when you have a dream or you have a vision, right? And everything around you helps out your vision. You're, it's, you're, like, you're, you're, you're just coasting, okay? You're just coasting. You can't really test your resolve until something major 
test that result for you. Okay, I don't know if that makes sense. You know, it's easy to say, oh, um, I'm going to raise my children to be godly and to be this, to be that. It's easy to say that in Nigeria, where you know the only exposure they can really have to negative things is through friends or through social media, which you can control, right? Then it's a different ball game when you go to a place where the whole society itself <laughs> get comma. The whole society, like school on its own, minus even the friends, school on its own, it can corrupt your children. So yeah, now I'm seeing things that are going to test my resolve to actually raise my kids, right? So my have I have my work cut out for me, or I have my work cut out for me. That's why I'm now enjoying my stay here in Nigeria. Eh? In fact, if I don't have to lift a finger for anything, I don't lift that finger because I know that I'm about to go and hear me. I won't hear me in Jesus' name. I won't hear me in Jesus' name. All things work together for my good. Okay. On the other hand, to be honest, let me tell you guys something there. Eh? All things actually work together for my good, though. All things actually work together. Like when I, I I'll, maybe I'll give you guys details in a different video about sequence of events that led to this place that i'm like god is just wonderful like but yeah that's my life update you guys i don't know so very soon now i'm going to be considering relocating <sighs> anyway i'll keep you guys updated i'll keep you guys posted as usual and i'll let you guys know what we decide to do let me know if you have the same dilemma um are you operating two families how is it working out for you I mean two households, how is it working out for you? Um, if you relocated because of your husband's job, how did it work out for you in particular? Because that's my own issue, me as the wife, as a woman, as a human being. I'm not one of those women that will want to make selfish decisions because uh, I'm independent. No, I beg you. Please. Um, so let me know what you guys did. Did it work out for the best for you if you relocated this way? Not that you wanted it, like you didn't want it, but because of your husband, you had to relocate. Let me know if it worked out for you. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching me and my orange view. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.